1957, an unknown object crashed into Roswell, New Mexico. Many believe it to be extraterrestrial. In 1995, an alien autopsy film was made and released to the world. For 12 years, people speculated if this film was real and if it was from 1947. Then in 2007, a filmmaker named Spiros Malaris came clean. This is the man responsible, and this is how he did it. If someone doesn't believe in ghosts, and you create one, and you materialise a ghost, they start to believe. That's the belief system that you, you need to play on, not the ingrained from birth belief system, like a religion. I picked a subject, something that happened. Lots of people said something crashed in Roswell in 1947. I don't have to prove that. I don't have to make anything up. I've got them walking around already believing. So their belief system is solid, right? So all I did was produce the evidence. The film was actually shot in a continuous stream. So every three minutes a new film would be put into the camera. So what you see is actually what we film live in sequence. I, I did a music video with a, an American group called the Flying Karamazov Brothers. And their runner and I got talking. And I said to her, if I needed any props ever for, for pop promos and stuff, could you send them to me? And she said, yeah, no problem. Tell me what you want and send me the money and I'll, I'll post it to you, you know. My runner in, in America found this one. They take 50 foot reels, which last around three minutes. It's a fixed lens, so, uh, there's, there's, no, there's no focal length, it's just, it's just everything's in focus, right? Now, if you move forward though, to, to too close, it goes out of focus. This uh, effect was very useful for me because if I didn't want you to see any detail, I'd simply move the camera closer to the object and it would go out of focus. So I could hide a, a multitude of sins doing that. If you look on the right-hand side, we've got the aged film, which was, as you can see, there's very little detail. It's washed out, it looks, it looks old and faded. The way I achieved that look was to uh, raise the brightness and increase the contrast. By doing so, you lose the, you lose the detail. So I had her in, in America, so I would contact her and say, I'm looking for a telephone. It needs to be kind of 1945-ish. I was like, I need a clock. But I would always give her a different date. It would never be 1947. So, so there was no correlation as to, well, this is all the same project. The clock being a genuine American clock had to have 110 volts in order for it to run correctly. Uh, obviously in England we have 240, 230, 240 volts. So the whole room is wired 110 volts. That telephone you can see in the background there, um, it's got a curly wire. They didn't introduce curly wires commonplace until way after 1947. But that was an add-on that, that the ministry institutions had. This is the removal of the lens. The eye is covered in KY jelly, and then we painted in black latex, and came off as a single, single piece. I deliberately filmed black and white to avoid any decision with colour. I, I just came to the conclusion that whatever we did that was in colour would be jokey. Green blood is sci-fi. You have to sell the belief system. Sometimes too much detail isn't good. When you, when you soften things up and, and you grain it up a little bit, then you're now in the, in the realm of allowing your brain to fill in the missing bits. And your imagination is much better than my filming would be. A lot of the experts said, how would you make it wet on the inside like that? Well, the answer is you cut it, you stop filming, you then make it wet inside, and then you start peeling it back. So it wasn't wet before we cut it. The peeling of the skin, there's actually nothing to peel. I was saying to him at the time, just gently edge it as if it's joined together, as, as if it was one piece. They're cutting the skull cap off. There is no skull at all. This is a foam head. This is completely play acting. And I'm asking him to get in my way so I don't get the shot. I don't want you to see too much. This is the, the brain. It was inserted after the skull cap was, uh, was cut and we covered the brain in a latex membrane. You see there's, a, there's actually a skin there. The brain was made out of two sheep's brain in a mould with um, gelatin. So I'm planning to do uh, a talk in the Palladium, London Palladium here, and a talk maybe in Sheffield where it was first shown in 1995, that's where the first screening was. And I'm gonna finally re release my book. 
I want to release it in July for the anniversary. That, that's something to look forward to.